There's social implications here, too. Um, the um, idea of getting these beans back is I want to also count greater reinforcement. That's something else I want to practice on this game. So when 30 seconds are up, I'm going to count how many beans there are. And I decree this game to be 10 to 15 a minute. So if we have 30 second um, sessions, if I get seven or eight reinforcements in, or six maybe, I'm, I'm doing good. If I fall below that, I know that I've got to lower my criteria. Remember that thing that goes like this? Okay, so rather than, sometimes this game is played where we send her out of the room and the people here dream up an activity for her to do. Well, that can be impossible. People get too ambitious. It can be something that, like, she has a sore foot. I know she does. Hopping on one foot would not be a good thing right no, now. Not right right now. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, touching her someplace might not be good, especially if you're Japanese and touch each other. Remember Tokyo Station? All these people, they don't touch each other. So there's social things that... What I do, and it, I, some people will make it too complicated, like hop on one foot as you tap the top of your head singing happy birthday. So in order to make it, an, in order to have control over the game and make it a good learning experience, I've made up little behaviors that go with these props. So, okay, so I know what it is. All right. I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you're going to play this at home, you can tell the other guy what it is. I could pass this around and you would know. That would be a different learning experience. Right now, I choose for you not to know what it is, so you can guess along with it and have fun with it. Another learning experience would be for you to know what it is and critique why am I, why am I clicking what, mm. and would you do the same thing. The whole thing is that I'm going to be able to ask you what you're thinking, and that's what we can't ask the animals. So this is our opportunity to see what we're putting the animals through. Um, is somebody available to push this button and call out 30 seconds? Can you do you know how to do this? Uh, I can learn. <laughs> okay, so it's push, and then push again. Okay? All right. Reset. Yeah, you know how to do this. Okay. Well, I can read. That's a good thing. <laughs> So, um, remain silent. Let the clicker do the talking. That's something that other people really need to know. You're, pre you're pretty good at it. Other people need to practice that. You remain silent. You don't ask me questions. I don't tell you stuff. My clicker's doing the, the talking. All right. When it's time to talk, when we're done training and have a discussion period in the middle, then we'll talk. Um, Tell me when to start and when to stop. Okay. okay, so this stuff isn't here. This is our pristine training area. You don't see that because this is my my waist pouch, my bait pouch. I don't see that because that's your stomach. All right, and when we get ready, you're going to be like any curious animal that comes into a new environment that has nothing in it but four things. You probably will be investigating it. Probably. I would think most animals do. Whenever you tell me to start. Sorry. Oh, sorry. How was my rate of reinforcement? Two, four, six, seven. Oh, good. I at least got seven. All right, because if not, I'm going to have to lower the criteria. Now, she's she's not a zippy, zoomy, yaha dog. She's a more methodical, thoughtful <laughs> dog that's contemplative. And so I was glad to get seven, because that might reflect on how many reinforcements I can give. But don't look that. Don't fall into that hole. She deserves as many as the fast city dog. Okay. What are you thinking right now? Just in general. What, what do you suppose the game is? I was thinking what thing I'm going to do next. You be whatever dog you want to do. And uh, I'm not going to say any more. You want to say
you.